Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode we're going to be joining the herd, crashing some pins with the new Brunswick Rhino. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at Brunswick's brand new Rhino. Now this is their newest entry in the entry line. But as we've seen from Brunswick before, entry line does not mean entry line performance. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the ball, Scoops? The Rhino has the low differential light bulb core, which we've seen in other Brunswick products and is very successful. It has an R16 reactive cover stock which gives it length with hook and slow response to friction so it doesn't overreact on dry lanes. Yeah, for those of you who are out there who have a uh, high rev rate or a lot of uh, side rotation, this ball is going to be really good because it doesn't react to the friction very quickly, uh, which means it's going to get down lane and then it's going to read and hook into the pocket. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. Alright guys, here we have Wayne Porter, our low speed, low rev player. He's bowling on a Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Uh, now, as we said, this has the uh, the light bulb, bulb core in it. Yes. Low differential, um, which is really good because it's not going to see a ton of flare. Yeah. Which helps it not overreact to friction. And still gives you great carry like that. Yeah, tons <laughs> of, because it is a, um, the, the core itself doesn't expend so much energy. It has a ton yeah, down lane. Yeah. This is my one of my favorite cores of all time, I'm telling you. Yeah, not that you don't own like three or four balls with oh. this core. <laughs> Every ball I try to get because I'm never disappointed in this weight block. Now, Wayne, you'll see Wayne is actually, even though we're on fresh, he's playing just a tiny bit inside from his, his regular line. Yeah, just tighten up a little bit because it is not a super strong ball. Yeah. But it does have a great reaction and a good read. Yeah, and for him, you know, he really liked it because he could just straighten it up and the ball didn't react until it got to the pins, but it yeah. had tons of continuation, tons of Look, push through the pins. It was counted. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> yep, all ten in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> now, here you are, Scoops. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, look at that pin slide across. Yeah. Oh. That's what I mean. It still has, for an entry line ball, it still has all that energy and all that carry that just seems to be blowing blowing the rack apart. Now, you're playing a little straighter, too. Yes, which I enjoyed because I got to play a little straighter, get those corners carried out. I didn't have to move in to... Um, to bounce it? Bounce it, yeah. yeah. It just I got to play it straight down the lane. Now, this is two or three years ago. This was your regular shot. Yes, yes. This is the way I used to play. And actually, I've been playing a lot more on our house shot, similar to this, and been getting back to it. But, and, uh, I mean, you've scored very well on it. Yes. So this is, this is definitely a ball that you could play on the fresh. Yeah. And play oh, a long wow. time. Yes, and that, that's something that... Uh, we don't get to do a lot in no, our house. No, exactly, <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of friction to the outside, as we've yeah. said before, and the lanes tend to dry up pretty fast. Yeah. And I'll see you pulled that one in a little yeah. bit, and that's and the boom. nice thing, yeah. because it's not going to overflare. Yeah. You're going to have that little extra bump into the inside. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't overreact. Now, here I am. Now, I, I had the pleasure of throwing this ball on two different conditions now. Uh, I threw this on uh, the CTF Sport Pattern, which is uh, very similar to, I guess, about halfway between the Wolf and the Cheetah. Um, and this ball saved my butt. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can see, on a fresh condition like this, it allows me to play very straight. Yeah. Uh, so if I was having problems uh, looping the ball or trying to get the ball to work, I can just straighten up and let it go. You can see I can throw it a little bit harder. Uh, but when I played this on the sport pattern, I was actually able to move out to where I usually play and swing the ball, where on a sport pattern like that, usually they say you would move to the right yeah. and play it down. I was yeah. actually able to swing this ball because it wasn't reacting to that friction. Yeah. It gave you that great option with 
the lanes that we were on were very high friction. Yeah, we were on two different kinds of wood, Guardian yeah. in the front and deck wood in the back. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you couldn't tell no, the way Rob was playing the, the Rhino. It was very smooth. And uh, Actually, another guy watched him play the Rhino and switched to the Rhino after making match play. Yeah. And uh, gave it a good run, but... Uh, yeah, no, I, I really liked I liked the look of this ball. It's very, yeah. very the the colors on the five different ones they've chosen are very dramatic. Yes, um, I particularly like the red and gold and black. Um, but you can see I'm hitting the side of that ball. It allows me to put as much turn on it as I want, and it's not going to overreact. Yeah. It just gets down lane and walks in. Yeah. Well, for somebody like me who generally tries to play up the back of the ball, but occasionally you know gets a little lazy and comes yep. off the side. This ball doesn't make me pay for it. Yes, and um, I think that's yeah. good for any bowler. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now, here's Cam. You've seen Cam before. He is our ultra-high-rev player. And you can see he, he's playing a little straighter, <laughs> but... Uh, Look at that pin action. Wow. Um, we this said does it. remind me of the old Rhinos, uh, Rhino Pro series that yep. came out. It, uh, it's definitely a throwback to them, and I'm glad they brought this ball back. Now, it's funny. I actually have the Teal Pro, which has a light bulb core. Yes, uh, I have an original Wine Rhino, yes, and now I have this, and I can play all of them um, very similarly and get great carry. Yeah. So for those of you who are looking for that old technology, no, yeah, you can move into this Rhino without having to spend hundreds of dollars to get an old ball. Exactly. Yeah. And get the exact same performance, which yeah. I really liked. Yeah, like stacking this up against an older one with the newer cover stock on it, it. Uh, it really stepped it up for for today's condition. Yeah, and and I mean, you guys can see here with Cam especially, we talk about retaining energy for when it hits the pins. Wow! There were four pins <laughs> thrown at that <laughs> ten pin. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a lot. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at Laneside Reviews. And don't forget to use this coupon code for 10% off all the jerseys you see at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side. This program is sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowlers Tape really is the Real Bowlers choice. Plantronics Rig, Stereo Headset and Mixer, Play More, Pause Less. And Logo Infusion, look the best, be the best, infuse your game, Logo Infusion.